Welcome back to the channel. I sound pretty roached. It's because I am. We've all had a little sickness running around the family. But it's going to take more than being sick to stop us from working on this mini truck. For the last couple months, we've been turning our Chinese mini truck into an off-road recovery tow truck. When I go home every weekend, I literally miss this truck. Yeah, I do too. I dude. love getting up here. I wasn't here when they finished the four link last week. And seeing what they did, dude. I just, I just want to get this thing done. It looks freaking good. And on top of the mini truck this week, Brady is going to be working on his LJ. He's got to get this freaking thing done because we're all dying to drive it and wheel with it. I've been working on this thing for dang near four years now. And not only am I super, super excited to actually get it done and drive it, but we also have some humongous plans in the future that we need this dang thing out of the way. Before we get started on those two things, we've been trying to get something done on the shop every week so we can keep turning it into our dream shop. This week, we're gonna paint this wall red and do the trim and everything so there's some color down here because obviously you guys know we love red. Pretty much anything in here that we have control of the color is red. speak too soon but that looks pretty good dude already. it it really does even just the primer i think instead of wrapping my jeep i should have rolled it on, <laughs> some paint on it. for all the comments wondering about alex's jeep last episode and why it's red now now we know out of everybody who's watching our videos dead giveaway we literally wrapped his Jeep in the week before video, so now we know who's religiously watching the channel and who ain't. That video's a Dean, you should go back and watch it. How long is this gonna take to dry? I don't know, I'm hoping fast, because we need to get the red on it <laughs> so we can get working. This I was is just gonna ask, time. I thought we were painting it red. Yeah, what's going on here? Well, we are, I only bought one gallon and it needs to go super far, so we have to paint it primer at first, and then go red. For anyone that's wondering, it's safety red. Oh. It's a color match. They matched it to the same thing as our powder racking. That's pretty bright. If I just had deja vu, that was weird. I've been standing here and you said safety red while mixing paint. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> I've had this dream. <laughs> You've been dreaming of this day. I've been dreaming about this. <laughs> Dang. That is sick. That look is red in the camera. Oh, it's the way red. Why is red our favorite color? That's a good question. I'm thinking it originated from Honda. Yeah, Honda motorcycles. Think about that. That's, that's where I think it came from. We've always ridden Honda. Oh, yes. dude. Oh, that's going to make a huge difference in here. Holy crap. That's all I got. <laughs> I think that... I lost what I was going to say. You got something to say over there? <laughs> he's talking to himself over there. I think it's because he likes it. Well, I think he's liking it too. Yeah. So a subscriber <laughs> cut this out and gave it to us. Dude. It's freaking sick. And I've been dying to put this thing up, but... The paint's still a little bit tacky, so we need to wait on that. We'll just wait till the paint's dry and throw it up tomorrow. So we've been traveling a bunch the past couple of weeks, and with that, we've been having to upload videos away from home. We've been having to upload videos at the hotel, at coffee shops, you name it, we've 
probably been there trying to upload. The problem with all those places is they're super susceptible to online hacking. That's why we're grateful that Surfshark is the sponsor of today's video. Surfshark's biggest feature is their VPN. The way this works is when your device is connected to Wi-Fi, you have what's called an IP address. Well, a hacker connected to the public Wi-Fi can access your IP address and see almost everything that you're doing and steal all that information. So what a VPN does is it blocks that IP address and makes it look like your device is who knows where. It could be Bangladesh, it could be China, it don't matter. It's just not where you are, so they can never connect it to you. The sick thing about Surfshark is they're not just a VPN. There's antivirus protection, there's alerts, there's a bunch of features that help keep you safe online. If you're trying to keep your information safe, visit this QR code or the link in the description and use code PECKBROTHERS to get three extra months free with your membership. Thank you so much Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the mini truck. Dang. Yeah. I like that. Dang it's Dude. Right. it. No, it's crooked, but it looks cool. That looks way good. <laughs> That's cool. All right, no more messing around. We gotta get this mini truck going. The idea here is to get the rear truss mounted and this diff cover probably, because this rear end is just too boring. We need to church it up with some moto built parts. Yeah, that front looks way too good to yeah. not have yeah. the rear one. Totally. And we've gotta figure out how to throw a fuel cell back here. So we've gotta figure out where the truss sits and then where we can throw the fuel cell. And a rear bumper somewhere back here as well. All right, we got a truss. Thing looks so good. That thing, that's actually the same truss me and Alex are both running on the rear end of our Jeeps. For good reason too, because it's the Dean. So now we've got to figure out how we're going to mount this gas tank. So we ended up getting a YJ fuel cell. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure it's a YJ. It's either a YJ, YJ or a YJ. TJ. It's a um, YJ. I think it's going to work perfect to go in between those frame rails and because it came with like the regular jeep mounting we should be able to like run something across the frame rail to this one and across the frame rail to this one it might even be easier than we're thinking it's gonna be i don't know about all that but braid's looking pretty sad over there <laughs> what's going there's on there's a lot of thinking going on there's not a lot of thinking oh i don't know i just would i kind of wish i was an engineer here trying to figure out engineering things with like a four-year-old's mind. This is what I've been building the last two days. It's a break. Everybody's gonna be wondering why we don't just buy one. <laughs> <laughs> they need to quit wondering. Yeah. A good break? You can drop like three grand on a good break. Dude, the one I want was $10,000. That tells you right there why we don't have one. Yeah, this you're, one- You're looking at about 200 bucks and still right here. This one's up for sale actually for 10 grand, if, you, if anyone's interested. <laughs> mm -hmm. This one's the first model. It works fine. Just don't bend anything real heavy. It's bending this stuff great. Like anything you want, it's bending it like a dean. It's just when you get a flipping six and a half foot piece of angle in there, just doesn't bend it quite as good as it should. The reason that I spent two days building this thing is because I decided to make things harder. Like usual. Imagine that. That's weird. And boat side my Jeep. And for people that don't know what boat sides are, it's essentially making your Jeep tub look like a boat. Um, angle these in on whatever angle, most people do 45 degrees but I angled these in and I need a break here because this piece is going to bolt here, go down on an angle and then go flat. So I have to break a six foot piece of aluminum. And as you can tell, nothing in this garage is gonna do that, so. We almost, we tried to do it in the vise and it wouldn't do it, so. <laughs> tried to do it with some pliers. I told him to just clamp it to the table and just hammer it. That's what I used to do. That's a way better idea. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about this one that I thought, my brothers don't think it's that cool, but this thing's removable from the table. Like, it just slides onto the table. You got a nice, heavy work area. It just don't work. 
You just need John Cena to help you get it off and put it away. If we can actually figure out how to get this thing done and working well, first thing I'm going to bend is those both sides. Well, we're going to let Braid figure this out. Me and Caleb are going to work on this fuel cell. Oh, yeah. I saw in the instructions it only weighed eight pounds. No. Why are you struggling? Needs a sit somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. What up, say? Boy. So basically, it needs to sit somewhere <laughs> in here. <laughs> Heck yes, this gas tank is completely mounted. Granted, it was super easy because it was a moto built tank and already had a skid plate. There really wasn't a ton that had to go into it. But just checking stuff off the list, like it's done. We don't have to deal with it now. Now we literally just need to put a sending unit in it and it's ready to rip. To check stuff off the list is huge. And on top of that, I think Brady has this brake figured out. Okay, it don't look pretty. So don't look at it too close. What we got here is kind of like, uh, what's that bridge? Golden Gate. Golden Gate bridge here. This one deflects it from going one way. This one deflects it going the other way. And this one fixes the deflection going on at the peak. Essentially, in my mind, this should work. And I'm gonna try it out on a piece of eighth inch aluminum to see what it does. It's bending, so you gotta do one of these. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> You're done. Can't say I'm real happy with that, but I think I know why. Okay, we're trying this piece. This is diamond plate, but it's still aluminum. A little bit more surface area to bend. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Well, it does that, no problem. Okay, what we got is a 3 16 piece. This is like my old mock-up ones that don't have the boat sides. They weren't long enough, so I had to get new ones. This piece is the same thickness and same material as the ones I've got to bend. I don't want to ruin those, so <laughs> we're gonna see if, if if it ruins these ones, whatever. Dad, do you think it's gonna work? I, I, I'm feeling positive. I still really? don't understand what I'm doing. Two, three. Hold hard, Cal. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you have attack pop. Oh. So Braid, would you be able to say that we just broke the brake? <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably correct. Ooh. 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 I'm at it! We keep breaking my brake. <laughs> I need a couple more days on this. I don't have a few more days. <laughs> I gotta get working on this stupid Jeep. I'm gonna lose it. All right, guys, it's a new day, and we're actually even more roached than we were yesterday. But we got stuff to do, like mounting this hitch receiver and mounting the rear bumper and getting the whole rear of this truck done. We bought this hitch receiver from Motobuilt. I can't remember what it's for. I think it's for a JK. It's a JK? Yeah. So we're just gonna make this sit right under this bumper and then we'll mount this bumper you know a little bit above it and then make a dovetail to the bed after that so we've got a little bit of cutting and grinding to do we'll weld all this crap in there all right we're doing the quick and dirty job with this little hitch receiver here hey Goes right in there. We'll square it up and have Caleb fill the gaps. So 
not only did Brady's brake not work for what he was trying to do, we mounted this rear bumper and found out it ain't gonna work. I don't know if you can see, but uh, that bolt right there is touching the mount that we made to mount the bumper. So when this leaf spring flexes and the shackle comes up, it hits that. So that ain't gonna work. That's a whole bunch of not much thinking. No, there. zero thinking going on. <laughs> Hold on, in our defense, it was up on the lift and it was drooped down, <laughs> but it didn't look like anything was going to happen. It didn't seem like it was a problem at the time. It, it was an unforeseeable problem. We pretty much got nowhere today. <laughs> we actually almost went backwards. And we're all sick. And we're all sick. And ke we keep getting more sick because we don't have time to, like, go rest. We just keep working through it so none of us can get over it. So, yeah. But all of us have been wondering if there's enough room with this car lift to lift it clear to the sky and then put something under it so we would have more room in here. So we're going to lift this mini truck up to the sky. I don't know if we have all the anchor bolts in. We don't. So that's going to get a little scary. And then we're going to see if Brady's Jeep will fit underneath. You got to come see this. This is what it looked like when we were building. Yeah, see, so, there's no problem there. There, Nobody knew that this thing was going to come like three inches back this way. And so we're not complete idiots. We're just, you know, we just don't think. <laughs> Ooh. Caleb, you didn't put enough hydraulic fluid in. Yeah, just add that to the list for today. That's all it'll go up. Without burning out the motor. To give a little bit of context here, Brady didn't put enough hydraulic fluid in the reservoir, so when it gets clear up in the air, we run out of uh, we run out of fluid. This is weak, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments later. This is the coolest thing. This is so cool. I mean, it's like right there. If the mini truck wasn't so wide, it probably wouldn't fit. That's one reason to do wide axles, I guess. Yeah, that's reason enough for me. And one reason to have full bump really low. Yeah, that's true. Brady Jeep's wicked low. So technically, if we pull our shocks out and go at full bump, we can fit Set under these that. tires down on these tires. Dude, oh. that would be sick. Dude, There's no we, way. that needs to be a future video. Yeah, we might need to do that. <laughs> and then drive them. Huh? <laughs> like, you'd have to put one in reverse, one in drive. Dude, all we'd have to do was take <coughs> my cage out and my windshield off. Dude. And we could do that. Yeah, probably, huh? <laughs> we might have a... A midweek coming this how, soon. This is how Peg Brothers videos ideas are made. <laughs> this actually wasn't the video we were planning on making this week, but we had some parts that weren't going to show up. But guess what? They showed up today. Today, of course. So next week, the video is going to be a freaking Dean. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. <laughs>